Hi friends, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I upload multiple times a week. A little bit about me, I am a part-time reseller. I've been reselling on eBay for 10 years, Poshmark for a year. By the way, thank you so much to the response on my Poshmark, what did I call it? Poshmark sucks video. I thought I was gonna get a lot of backlash, but a lot of you were supportive. If you haven't seen it, link down below. I think it might actually become one of the most popular videos on this channel which makes me feel like I'm not alone. I'm doing a part two, which will be coming soon, but I, oh God, I don't think I can lift it, guys. <laughs> I have this huge box. I don't know why it's so heavy from ThreadUp. It's one of their rescue bags, boxes. It's mixed clothing. It said 25 pounds, and good Lord, that's heavy. It feels like 50 pounds to me. Um, I paid $51 for this, so let's just see what's in here. These aren't my favorite. Sometimes you can get lucky, sometimes you get total duds, and sometimes it's a mix, but I can't source. I'm in Los Angeles. Shelter in place has been since March 15th. I don't think it's going to be lifted till June, but they say May 15th right now, so I just thought, why not? I'll try, and we'll just see what we get. I need to stop watching other people's unboxings because I keep seeing so many people getting such duds, so... Let's just dig in here. I see something new with tags from H&M. I haven't looked. Man, this is packed tight. I, I did open it, like, to take the tape off, but let me put this on the floor. But I haven't looked at what's inside. Oh, my God. Sorry, downstairs neighbors. Oh, I have two other channels if you're interested. I have a vlog channel, which I always link down below, and a beauty channel. So if you want to check those out. First up is the brand Sport Savvy. And it's just a green, um, extra small hoodie. This looks like it could be brand new. I'm looking for stains or anything. It's kind of cute. It's just green. I actually would wear that. <laughs> Aren't pastels in? I did a spring trends video. I'll link it down below. I think pastels are in. It's more like a pastel green. Never heard of that brand before. This is interesting. This is from Crown and Ivy. It's an extra large. Never heard of this brand either. It just has like, I think they're flowers and then circles and sunshines. I like getting extra large items. I'll probably list the, I need to look those up. I don't, I don't, never heard of those brands. Never heard of this brand, Hollywood. Hollywood, W-O-U-L-D. Size seven, it's brand new with tags. And it says it retailed for $34. It's a size seven, it's from, Sim simply Slender it says flatten tummy flattens tummy eliminating gaps. Okay, maybe I'll I might actually keep this. This looks like it would fit me. I do have a full time nine to five corporate job, and I can always use a pencil skirt when I go back to work. Uh, this is Chico's design. It's size three. It's a hundred percent polyester. I'm surprised some of this didn't sell. So. Some of the items, not all of them, that ThreadUp sends you from uh, in these mixed like rescue bags are things that people tried to sell that they sold, they sent to ThreadUp. It didn't sell, and th either it didn't sell and ThreadUp. This bag is really dusty. I'm starting to like choke up. Either it didn't sell and ThreadUp um, claims it and sells it, or someone sent it and tried to sell it and ThreadUp just paid the person and. You guys know how that goes. If you don't know how to sell on ThreadUp, I've done a couple videos on it. I'll link it down below. I literally did a video sharing my screen, showing you from A to B, no, A to B, A to Z, how to sell on ThreadUp. So I think that's cute. I'm surprised it hasn't sold. I'll try to sell it. This is CJ Banks. This is a brand I found brand new with tags at the bins. I'm not kidding, like hundreds of pair of pants hundreds of pair of pants and thank god i look up comps on everything before i leave does not retail for a lot and doesn't resell for a lot so that might be something i just donate i feel like it's not even worth my time paper crane this is a size small where have i seen paper crane is it nordstrom is it anthro i've seen it at some store it's really cute this is cute size small but it's kind of oversized and it feels like a faux, like suede. I like the way that feels. I might keep that for work too. We'll look up comps. Um, Ann Taylor Loft, that's funny. I send them a lot of Ann Taylor Loft. 
two P, so two petite black flax. This might be something I just throw in the box and send it back to them because sometimes Ann Taylor sells really well for them. They like Ann Taylor there. They take a lot of it from me. Um, Blacker by Stanley Blacker, size 12. <laughs> Looks like someone bought this from Ross. It still has the tag, but it's ripped off, and it says it was a two-piece set. So, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, boy. This box isn't that great. Some, I was going to be rude and say some no-name brand. Bad girl, Nikki. Some boutique brand called Be Lush. Cute top, though. I like the pattern. I like the colors, and it's a size 2X. Maybe I'll try to sell it. I love plus size. I love selling plus size. Banana Republic Hampton Pants, size two. These are so cute. They're kind of like a slack, like a trouser mixed with a jean. They kind of look like stretchy jean material. Those are really cute. I might try to sell that. I actually sell Banana Republic pretty well on Poshmark and eBay. Um, Attitudes by Renee, extra small. And it's just like an open front. What'd you call it? I always forget what to call these, like cardigan or something. Wrap, I don't know. Lots of business wear. The limited extra stretch size zero red pants. This might just be something I send directly back to ThreadUp. I send them a lot of business um, attire and it sells. So. I Heart You, that's literally the name of the brand. I Heart You size nine black kind of dress pants. This box should be called like workwear, workwear attire. Um, this is brand new with tags from Maurice's, size three, which I'm guessing that's a plus size. Size three, it's like a black see-through and you can wear it off the shoulder top. That's cute, it says it retails for $39. Um, this is the H&M new with tags I saw. Size 6 says it retails for $35. Gosh, it seems like a small size 6. This definitely seems like a size 4 or 2. And I don't know if you can see, it kind of has this material pattern on the front, or all, all around. It's really cute. From Hula Honey, new with tags, we have a bikini set. Does it say the price? Oh, the price tag's ripped off. Is this a one piece or a two piece? Oh, I think it's a one piece. I'll look this up. If it doesn't resell for a lot, I'll probably just send it back to them and see if it sells. More work wear, it looks like. Hobbs London. I wonder if that's a higher end brand. I've heard of it. US size 10. Navy blue. I wonder if it's coming up navy blue. My camera's really good at picking up things true to color. Navy blue skirt. That feels like nice quality. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here for it to be 25 pounds. Jones, New York, size large. I really like this color. I'm all about bright colors right now. Um, this is very busy, but I think it's pretty. I like it. It's like a coral snakeskin pattern. Worthington Stretch, more work pants or career wear, size 10 pants, and they're, I, they're wide leg. Those are cute. I would wear them to work if they were my size. Oh, good old LuLaRoe, size extra, extra small. This is an extra, extra small. Good Lord, this looks like it's like a medium. LuLaRoe is really oversized, huh? New with tags, LuLaRoe. Oh, I do not pick up LuLaRoe. I can't give it away. Old Navy button up size medium with the polka dots. Can you guys see that? Navy blue polka dots on it. That's cute. Uh, man, they really jam packed this bag. New with tags, women's classic, all fourth. Are these like golf pants? It says they're roll up pants. They're gray. Classic fit. They look like something you'd play golf in. Nice. I've never heard of a lot of these brands. Some of them are 50-50. This is Old Navy Active, size medium. I might actually keep this because I love wearing pink to work out and I always need workout tops, work out quite a bit. 
and that'll be nice and kind of loose on me. I'll keep that for myself. More the limited pants, size eight, really pretty burgundy color. My God, this is like all workwear stuff. It's funny. Oh, this is cute. New with tags. Hmm. Seems like I got a decent amount of new with tag stuff. V-E-L-Z-E-R-A, v -E -L -Z -E -R -A. This is cute. Like a vest? How do you close it? Oh, you tie it closed. I kind of like this. This stuff is really dusty. <laughs> I hate going out like to the store or walking Coco and sneezing or coughing right now. People literally stop and look at you like, do you have the plague? What the hell is wrong with you? This is a brand I find a lot at TJ Maxx. It's called Philosophy XXL. It's a size XXL, but I feel like this is sold at Nordstrom Rack. Um, this is really cute. I like the top. And it has the size tag on it, but... So it's new, it doesn't have the price tag though, XXL. That's cute, and that's it. Not bad, not great. Would I say it sucks? No. Would I say it's awesome? No. Couple of new attacks things, or I, I, I don't know, how many new attacks things do we have? Like four or five? Lots of career wear, which personally doesn't sell the best for me. Doesn't sell really at all on Poshmark for me. But eBay, it will do better. I don't know. I, some of that stuff, oh, I'm seeing the the vest, the Velzira has some stains on it. Some of that, I might just box it up. Other than the old navy thing and a couple things, I might just box it up and send it right back to them. I do that all the time, friends. I'm starting to make pretty decent money on ThreadUp. Um, I've changed my philosophy on it because in the last video, I basically said anything that doesn't sell, I'll send to thread up, but no, that's not the case anymore. I'm doing pretty well. If you'd like an update, let me know. You can check out my most recent video right here.